Purpose Counseling and Wellness Center. Therapy. Feel like you're falling apart? Let us help you find the missing pieces in your life. Purpose Counseling and Wellness Center, PCWC, provides a variety of therapeutic counseling services geared towards helping individual families and the communities. Our goal is to assist individuals holistically through our transpersonal counseling psychological services. We are also available on Psychology Today. Give us a call today. Hello and welcome. Hello, energy beings. Hello, lovelies. Hello, family. And welcome to my channel. Today, I want to um, do number nine to my Universal Ancestral series. And, and this time, we're going to be talking about believing in yourself. Believing in yourself. And before I start, I want to first thank you guys. Again, I want to give gratitude to all the people who were really nice and um, following me from day one and who had just recently subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't done so, please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I also want to thank you all for the donations and also want to thank you all for um, giving me referrals. Um, and. You know, getting some good referrals for my um, counseling and wellness business. But anyway, <laughs> let's get started, you guys. Um, first of all, it says here, start believing in yourself and stop wasting your time on frivolous things. I think some of us um, sometimes don't have a lot of confidence in some of the things that we do. We um, I don't know if it's because of low self-esteem or fear of failure, but sometimes in order to make things happen, you have to be willing to take action. Last week, I talked about action. I talked about timing. It's time, and uh, the time is now. Um, and I think a lot of people are afraid to, you know, to get started because they of a, a fear one thing and also not not believing in self having a lack of confidence and that's something that you all should uh, definitely work on frivolous things sometimes i say what i mean by frivolous it means going out on tangents a lot of people um, especially some of the clients i work with sometimes have a hard time finishing and completing tasks because they get off on a tangent you know sometimes you might pick up a phone right right here and uh lose sight of goals because you're on so social media <laughs> i've seen that as well uh sometimes people hang out with friends lose track of time or even watching tv or a movie and you know get on tangents you know maybe those things and um, lose track of time um, that's another reason why um, people don't do some of the things that they need to do um, to make things happen. But learn to set healthy boundaries. Um, also, value your time and energy. A lot of us don't value our time and energy here on this earth plane. After I lost my brother last year, it made me realize how precious life is and how much we should value the time that we're here. And when you hear this is the perfect time on this earth plane to make a significant difference to humanity and mankind and the world and the universe. And value your time, you know. Um, stop wasting it on, on silly things, you know, on drama. A lot of people waste a lot of time, a lot of valuable time on drama, on things that take you off on tangents. Also, learn to set healthy boundaries, like I was saying before. And not be consumed by other people's motives. Um, unfortunately, some of us do get distracted and um, lose track of things because um, we get on tangents. Like I said, again, setting healthy boundaries. Um, some people have a hard time saying no. I have some clients who don't know how to tell people no. <laughs> uh, you start feeling worn out. You feel drained. Uh, then you get upset with yourself because you still didn't get a chance 
to do what you need to do because you put all your needs on the back burner and all your focus was on everybody else's needs but yours. You make sure everybody else reached their goals and what they need to do, but you haven't reached out and done the things that you need to do for yourself. That's why I said you also have to look out for self as well. Um, I've seen too in some cases where people get upset and discouraged when they do and do and do for others, but it's not being reciprocated and they don't know why. And it's because you haven't set those healthy boundaries and identify people for who they are. Um, just because you're gen- generous and and willing to share doesn't necessarily mean that the other person is willing to do so. Sometimes you have to see people who they really are. And um, that's why the eye and discernment is very cr- important. And it says here, um, your vision is just as important as the next person. And I see that a lot. People don't value their self-worth. They don't value their talent. And they might hear um, negative people saying negative things all the time, uh, discouraging them. And and it's so sad. And it can be loved ones. I've seen it in families. I've seen it. With friendships, I even seen in relationships and even on the workplace. You know, um, sometimes that's why I say it's important. If you have a vision, it's something that you always wanted to do. You can't share it with everybody because not everybody's going to see it. Not everybody's going to understand it. And it's not for them to understand. That's between you and the universe. And you just go and make it happen. That's what you do. You know, you know, um, Yours is just as valid as everyone else and realize it. That's why it's important to believe in yourself. That's why it's important to speak positive things, uh, positive energy into your life. You, in order to manifest positivity into your life, you have to speak it into existence. Um, if you have that negative mind clutter, I tell my clients all the time, negative mind clutter, um, you need to stop yourself in the tracks and start speaking positivity into your situation. That's what you need to do. And it sounds, some some people feel like it's awkward doing it, but it's a behavior. It's a learned behavior. I don't know if it's them from childhood or being around negative people. That's why it's important to look at what's around you. Your, your, uh, look at things with a spiritual eye and start to see things more. And realize where your triggers lie. You know, where the triggers are to cause you to feel this way. You start identifying these triggers and you do something about it and become more proactive. You can nip it in the bud. And sometimes it could be being around negative people, you know? And that's why that's important. Follow your dreams and passion. Don't let toxic barriers, relationships get in your way. To toxic barriers, some people don't realize that some of the barriers is based on who they um, are in now when they're in a circle. Some people, you can't let them to your inner circle because they just don't fall in line with your life path. I talk about that in previous videos as well. Y'all yeah, we want to check out some of my other um some of my intu- other intuitive sessions, you know, the previous ones. I just want to touch on that as well. But yeah, believe in yourself, you guys. That's very important. Start believing yourself. Set those healthy boundaries and follow your dreams and your passion. But this is the conclusion for the first part of my intuitive session. And I'm going to start on the card reading. Hello, lovelies, and welcome. Now we're going to do our card reading for this um for this session, number eight, nine. So let me shuffle these cards. And we're going to see what the cards are for this week. Thank you, Michael, all the guardian angels of Hawa. Please guide us on which cards do you want us to pull today? Thank you, Michael. Mm-hmm. 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 These card readings are for the collective, you guys. I change your mind for all the guardian angels of the wall. Please guide us on which card you want, which messages you want to hear in the collective and the wall's name. And so it is. Here we go. 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 Here we
Here's the cards. Let's see. Okay, you guys. Here are the cards for this week. It came out pretty quick this time. They flew out. <laughs> okay. It says, these are the cards, the messages from the angels. It says here, Mystique, keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. This is the message. This is the message from the angels. Mystique, it says, keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. So that's... Uh, added affirmation you guys to keep on believing in yourself and keep moving forward um, some of you all are having self-doubt or afraid of change afraid of taking action but the most high is wants you all to move forward on your dreams and on your passion there's some things very important things that um, a lot of us have to do as energy beings you know uh, some of us are earth angels, star seeds, you know. Uh, some of us are light workers and healers. And these are some of the things that needs to be done. But somebody is um, not moving forward because of fear because they don't believe in themselves. You got to believe, you guys. You got to believe. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. But anyway, this is from um, Mystique mistake and then it says is your it says your desired outcome will occur in the near future have pre um, patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen azure this angels uh, guided me to pull this card deck you know because there were some messages that you all needed to hear and this is very deep it says your desired outcome will occur in in a very near future and it will but the problem is some of y'all are not taking action <laughs> you gotta take action you gotta move forward you know it don't have to be huge steps you know i always say that you can start small the smaller steps and work your way up to the bigger ones you know a lot of times people get overwhelmed you know um overwhelmed at the bigger picture that they don't start because <laughs> they feel like it's impossible but it is possible you know every little step you make towards your goal makes a difference and it says be patient some some people are not patient huh? i'm one of them i raise my hand i'm guilty of that <laughs> i get impatient sometimes too but when you're working in the universe time, you have to follow that time. A lot of times we get impatient and give up. Some people give up. But don't give up. Keep on believing. And don't listen to the negative you know, comments of others, you know. Or don't look at other people's um, accomplishments as something that you can't do, you know. Or feel discouraged because somebody reached their goal before you did. Um the grass is always green on the other side, but you don't really know that person's story, right? You know, you really don't. And like I said, just like they got theirs, you're going to get yours too. You got to claim it. You got to believe in it. That's what you got to do. And it says, don't try to force it. Because sometimes we do force things and try to push it along. Sometimes that don't help either because... Sometimes you might be doing things out of sequence or, you know, maybe a certain time is, is supposed to be at a certain time in order to get a better result. And sometimes we get in the way of our own um, progress. We do that a lot. I know I do. I, that happened to me before. So, so stop getting in the way and let the universe guide you, okay? It's a smooth course, a better course, you know, just follow your intuition. The other one is a um, Andrew. It says, 
You're a light worker. I was just talking about that, a light worker. <laughs> God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all the inhabitants. Some of us are light workers. A lot of us are. And you got to shine your light on everyone because um, these a lot of us have gifts. And these gifts are very sacred. And we should be using them. A lot of somebody out there is not doing it because of fear or because they don't believe in themselves and their self worth. You gotta believe and value you. You know? You really do. And I, I could feel it. I hope this message resonated with you all. Um, but keep this in mind. Keep charging using the messages. It says your future will come. Your your um it'll come. Your desired outcome will come. Just keep moving forward. Don't give up. And also, light worker. You're supposed to be shining. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be shining your energy and making a difference for this universe, for the world. But anyway, that's my message for this week. And um, please like this video, subscribe. Don't forget to put your comments below. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. And love and peace.